Now, New York's number one news, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. More than a thousand people hit the streets of Midtown to call for full state funding of the City University of New York. Without the funding, they say the educations of students and the jobs and faculty members are at risk. Plus, breaking news on the Upper East Side of Manhattan. Two suspects rob a man at gunpoint outside a popular burger restaurant, firing a single shot in the process. Tonight, they're still on the run. Hello, I'm Joe Torres. And I'm Kimberly Richardson. Those top stories in just a moment. But let's start with the weather. It is calm and dry outside right now, but that will change overnight. Meteorologist Jeff Smith has a first look at our forecast. Jeff, what are we up against well, tonight? Let's just say I hope you enjoyed today because we do have that rain coming in mainly after midnight tonight, and especially into the day tomorrow. You see that rainfall over the Appalachians right now kind of pointing in our direction uh, during the next 18 to 24 hours. Clouds are increasing right now. He's great, and so is his father, the recipient. Like all of this, it was another success. We need to get you a mirror so you can see how handsome you look with your hair. Thank you very much. Jack's advice to all of us for a good life, eat fresh food, lots of oranges, cherish your family, and always help others. Do things for people. If you want something, ask me. I get it for you. Always. Happy 100th, Jack. You're beautiful, too. Oh, are we going out now? <laughs> Anytime. In Manhasset, Michelle Charlesworth, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Oh, we That's salute so Jack yeah. tonight. Happy birthday. Yes, don't worry. They didn't take off too much. Not too much. Look, looks good. Looks yes, good. Yes, yes, yes. That's the news for now. Thanks for joining us. I'm Joe Torres. And I'm Kimberly Richardson. Eyewitness News returns on Channel 7 tonight, right after the ACC championship game between Louisville and Florida State. We hope to see you then.